Hi everyone, it's Siv. Welcome back to my channel, A Crafty Poodle Mom. So I wanted to share with you what I did with my Mommy Lay March Little Bits box. Um, I have already done an unboxing in February uh, when we had received the kit and I subscribed to her monthly kits. I adore, absolutely adore every little bit of ephemera and stickers and the designs that she um, takes the time to create every month for us so I when I had received this in February um, sometime in March I decided to uh, take it out and start playing with it and my husband and I were uh, deciding where to plan on going on vacation um, so we did decide to go to uh, Acumal, Mexico, which is an hour and a half south of Cancun. And I took out this uh, micro traveler's notebook that came with the kit. I used a lot of her ephemera pieces and I will show you what I did, how I decorated it, how I set it up, and I'll do a little quick flip through. Um, but before I uh, open up the traveler's notebook, I wanted to share with you this is a little um, charm that I had made. I uh, took it out because it was kind of bulky, but I will have it um, in my bookcase with the charm. I had added a couple of seashells. This is actually a Daiso charm, and um, a lot of the little uh, plastic beads are the from Daiso, but I added... Um, this seashell, I just added a gold pin, uh, head pin and uh, wrapped it around one of the little ch chains that are existing, as well as a couple of these seashells, like starfish type of um, um, charm, charms. See? The orange, blue, and white one. I had picked these up at Joann's when they had their 60% off sale. So, I would normally wrap the Little Traveler's Notebook like so. And this one says, Be True. It has a little uh, clock in the front. And... So I'm going to take out the, it, it, it includes two um, inserts, and what I did was I went ahead and um, decorated the inserts, each insert, ahead of time. So in the month of um, April and May, I took the time to do some research, what I like to do before I go travel anywhere and we've been to a couple of wonderful places uh, throughout the world and um, in particular what I like to do is I like to research the airline, uh, research the iconic landmarks uh, in the areas that we will be traveling to and places to eat so um, and also put a little uh, packing list because um, I'm always making lists but I I never seem to have it in one place. It's always in a sticky note. So I decided to um, add this here. So um, in this insert, I have a lot of my pre-planning um, ideas. And in the, on the second insert, I, I used it to journal and document um, the events and memories uh, during the week-long trip that we took to Akamel. So I used uh, Mommy Lay's uh, washi tape to decorate the sides and in one of her packing pieces there was this wonderful background. I did print out a lot of her digital images, however my printer wasn't working very fairly well. Um, but I did use a, some of her um, digital prints as well. So I added, see, these are the ephemera pieces that she designed, and I just added and popped it up with a, a foam piece in the front. And as I open it up, 
we were going to the region of Quantana Roo, Mexico, and I used, uh, these are the little sticky notes that came with the March Little Bits kit, and so three mermaids, to-do, goals, and plans. I stamped out vacation, and this is some uh, Craftsmith washi tape. Um, and this is a little sticker and then a little cute little stamp. Um, she included the stamp in the kit as well. So my creativity to flow. And so that's my first page. And then, so I like to do a pre-travel checklist. I pull out the luggage from the garage. I have my passports. I, um, have my information for reservations and ticketing info. And then I print out my maps, make sure I get my medication refills, travel clinic updates, so I can get all my shots. Um, I a lot of the times um, they don't, we don't really require having a universal adapter, but I do have that on my pre-travel checklist. Um, and then I review my baggage rolls. So essentially, I have it all in one area so that I can remember to check them off as soon as I um, complete the task. So, um, and then the next page, we were traveling with the Virgin America um, airline. So every airline has a different baggage and carry-on limit. And so I just wanted to remember how many inches uh, we were allowed for the luggage um, and didn't want to go over. Um, this was uh, a, this is like a vision board of what I wanted to do. So Akumal was the destination that we were uh, going to and it means place of the turtles in the Mayan language and my plans were to go napping at the beach. It's on the Mex on Mexico's uh, Riviera Maya. There's white sands, coral reefs, and having a chance to swim with turtles. Um, we did have an opportunity to swim with turtles in Tulum. And that was an amazing experience, and I will post at the very end of this video a couple of pictures as we go along. And so I knew also an idea an iconic uh, area was to go to some archaeological sites in Mexico and there are archaeological ruins called Tulum and Coba and um, so I took some some of my glittered up letter stickers from Tuesday morning and I just added it on this page and noted down what um, where Tulum was. It sits on the east coast. It's an archaeological site. Um, one of the mysteries of the Mayan calendar and it's um, overlooking the Caribbean seas of the Yucatan. So I just added some washi tape and then just added a little bit more on Koba. Koba is a, a ruin and the only ruin that you can climb on um, in this particular area. Uh, and Koba means waters stirred by the wind. So beautiful location um, that we wanted to visit. Another area that we wanted to visit also was the Cancun area. And um, I looked up a couple of places through TripAdvisor and these were the top four, or actually the top three. I, would, I also wanted to sample some fish tacos in that area. Unfortunately, we didn't have a chance to visit the Cancun area, but we did have plenty of, of time in other areas. Shpuha was another beach uh, area where we had planned on going. We didn't make it out there, but that was one of my visions for my planning. And um, it was described with uh, a beach with white sands, turquoise waters, and great snorkeling. So I had jotted that down. This I decorated with some, again, Craftsmith washi tape, some mermaids, and this is some of Mommy Lay's ephemera pieces and her stamps. 
and this is um, my packing list on the next page and um, I jotted down like a bullet kind of like a bullet list of the types of toiletries that I like to kind of check off and make sure that I do have I do uh, tend to pack about a week ahead so that I can double check and triple check that I have everything that I need and on the next page um, this is just a list of uh, clothing uh, for myself and my husband I do tend to overpack so I did want to write down things that we would be able to use um, we looked up the weather June 1st is technically um, the start of the hurricane season so we knew it was going to be humid and uh, I didn't want to take too many um, pants or, or dresses uh, so mainly I knew that I was typically going to be in either tank tops bath a bathing suit um, which I took for bathing suits and because uh, nothing ever dries if it if you're in the humidity and uh, a couple of essentials for the beach and uh, we knew we were going to do some under underwater um, activities like snor snorkeling so I wanted to get um, you know my underwater camera ready the batteries um, so I have just a list of miscellaneous items as well as a checklist as well as my checklist for uh, the beach bag that I would be taking when I knew that we would be heading out to a beach or a cenote area. <clears throat> so this is my vision board. Um, I uh, It's a reminder of me to take the time to relax, to breathe, to have walks on the beach, holding hands, dreaming and escaping. So I, ha I just these are some cutouts of um, a calendar that I had and I kept the the calendar from like 2010 because I really love the pictures so I, I glued them on here and this is my mindfulness page <clears throat> I use mommy lay stencil that came in the kit and I just um, stenciled out a couple of um, squares and little drops and, and um, added a couple of key phrases like escape, dream, breathe, relax, simply be, remember to meditate, allow for mindfulness, just be aware, allowing all the magical places in Mexico just to um, embrace it and appreciate it and be grateful for what Mother Nature has to offer. So this is my mindfulness page. And then um, in my research, we were researching cenotes, and cenotes are considered to be the secret underworld where turquoise pools um, where minds communicated with the gods. And so it's fresh water, clear water, you can snorkel, and they're considered sacred. So these were the top six uh, we were there only going to be there for a week so I knew that we weren't going to be go going to all six but I knew that we would be going to a couple so these were the top um, six that I read about and then I wanted to go to so I jotted them down <clears throat> um, one of the islands off of, of the Caribbean is uh, named Cozumel and we booked a snorkeling uh, trip via Viator, um, the website via Viator and we were able to book a trip where we were able to snorkel in three different reefs called Cielo Reefs, Colombia and Palancar Reefs. So we took the ferry and we wanted to also ex explore part of the island uh, on the east side there was a bicycle trail and um, we wanted to do that. We didn't have a chance to do that but we did have a wonderful time snorkeling in Cozumel. So essentially this book is all about the planning portion of our trip. 
<clears throat> Muyil ruins and Chichen Itza were another two ruins that we knew that we wanted to visit. <clears throat> and I just uh, wrote down a couple of key facts about the area. Um, I knew Chichen Itza is one of the seven wonders of the world. We were excited about going to visit there. Uh, we knew that <clears throat> it is extremely hot. In the afternoon so we wanted to get there early we did rent a car um, to save some money instead of going uh, on a tour bus the trip was about two almost two and a half hours to get there um, but it was a nice journey to get there and uh, Chichen Itza means at the mouth of the well of the Itza and this is a beautiful place Muyil south of uh, Tulum and uh, there's a lagoon called Cien Can that uh, where uh, where the flamingos um, roam and um, we didn't have a chance to go there but that was another plan that we had uh, wished to go to I mean Mexico is beautiful there's just so many places to see and do so <clears throat> I jotted down in a little post-it that I wanted to uh, do like a beach sand memory tag. Fortunately, I left my tags at home, but I do have one of the um, Project Life cards where I did um, on Okamol Bay, which is the hotel that we stayed at the beachfront, I just added some red line tape on this particular uh, project life card and um, I just stuck it in the sand and it stuck perfectly I wish I would have thought about doing this to the other beaches that we visited such as Tulum which was fine white like powder like sand it was amazing I wish I would have been able to you know pocket that up and bring that home and put it in a craft project somewhere, but I didn't have a chance to. Um, I know in Hawaii it's kind of bad luck, so I didn't know about Mexico, but I did um, decide to do this because we did stay in Akumo Bay, and you can see the little coral, bits and pieces of the little coral that had washed up to shore. So I have kept this here in this little pocket, this clear pocket. Um, this little pocket is from the Target dollar spot. So this one, um, this is the middle of the of the insert. And I just decorated with, again, Mommy Lay's washi tape, which I adore. And then I just have a couple of blank pages. You know, if I wanted to document a little bit more, I can do that. <clears throat> so, um, I also, this is a little, uh, little pocket. This is one of Mommy Lace Digital, uh, printables, and I printed it out, and I made a little pocket. I have two of my little, uh, mermaid-themed, um, uh, pa uh, like paper clips, bookmarks. One from, uh, that was gifted uh, to me by my friend Susan, and another one I made using the uh, Dollar Tree stickers. So those are my two. Um, this is a little <clears throat> printable from Mommy Lay. I got this. And um, these are also... Um, these tags I created using Mommy Lay's printables as well. And what I did was I just cut them accordingly and I added some Dollar Tree stickers as well as stamped, um, used her stamp to stamp on the corners. So I thought these were really cute, maybe just to add for journaling cards or little pictures or something like that. So I had made these ahead of time before my trip. <clears throat> And I have a little shaker, a little shaker card. And in this, um, I wanted to add a couple of additional little sticky notes just in case. Um, I wanted to add more pages in here in my inserts. And so I wanted to 
keep it somewhere in my traveler's notebook so I have this as well so I included that here and um, and this goes back in the traveler's notebook <clears throat> and on this one I will do a quick flip through so that it's not too um, long but <clears throat> I also decorated the front using her papers, her ephemera, little, uh, creating a little underwater scene, and some of her washi tape. Super uber cute. And then, um, and this is really just uh, an area where I was able to journal. Um, ahead of time, I... You know, if I had some time, I wasn't too strict with doing so much or jotting so much. I, I did jot um, a little bit here and there, um, but I wanted to document, you know, the essentials. But I, um, before my trip, I did uh, decorate a little bit more just so that I had it. Um, so we left on Sunday, June 4th. And I wanted to document, this is a little stencil, part of a little stencil of Mommy Lay's, and I wanted to document the weather um, with 87 degrees with 84% humidity, so it felt like it was like 98 degrees. Um, so I just kind of jotted a little bit here and there, and I used some of her papers to decorate, and, and um, so... I, you know, essentially used, decorated the corners and I used some of the space around it to, um, to document. Um, and I have a lot of my photos that I haven't printed yet. My Canon printer is not working, so I think I have to take it to Costco. The reason why I just wanted to journal here is really just to capture, you know, the main, uh, the, 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 the funny memories or the little hiccups um, that we experienced during our trip. And eventually I wanted to actually put the pictures in a, um, a bigger, in a bigger uh, scrapbook page. Um, originally... When I first started crafting, maybe about 10 years ago, I started uh, going into scrapbooking. And so I do have one scrapbook of a couple of uh, adventures that we had gone to. and But then that, all of a sudden I kind of stopped. And then eight years later, I picked up, you know, pocket letters. So... I wanted to at least document the, the specific memories here. And then, you know, the bigger, uh, the bigger significant um, experiences, I will want to just allow my imagination to flow and, and allow my creativity to flow on paper and, and uh, do it up with the scrapbook. And the scrapbook that I will be using this is the scrapbook I will be using and a lot of the uh, papers or actually all of the papers are from the, the hot buy this is actually another hot buy album um, and it's part of the mermaid hot buy um, I think it's called mermaid coast and so I wanted to take some of the background papers and uh, place them in the the plastic uh, folders and then take one picture and just decorate um, like a turtle theme. I had hauled a bunch of dies at Scrapbooking Made Simple and I'm hoping to print out my pictures soon and uh, share with you how I decorate the scrapbook, my scrapbook. So, uh, beautiful papers through this, um, through the um, emerald, no, not emerald, mermaid 
the mermaid paper. So I thought that this would, would be a wonderful way of just starting. So that is uh, my quick flip through. Um, I will probably come back and share with you another one of Mommy Lay's uh, digital printables were her mermaids and you can make them as big or small as you'd like. So I had printed out um, a set of four and I, I don't have any Copic uh, colors or markers, only Spectrum Noir and Primas um, that I picked up at Joann's on Tuesday morning. So I had dabbled in coloring these and I was going to create little bookmarks um, with these girl images um, to also put in my traveler's notebook. But I just wanted to share with you how cute they look all colored up. Another thing that I also like to put in my traveler's notebook are a little mementos of the tickets. Um, on Thursday, June 8th, we did take a ferry over to Cozumel and um, we uh, pur purchased some tickets for 75 pesos and um, I think 75 pesos was like $4 and some change uh, converted and uh, so I typically like to keep the ticket stubs I also like to document the cost of transportation just for future reference um, so from the hotel for example over to Playa del Carmen which was had half an hour away um, the cost for the taxi uh, was 450 pesos, which converted to American dollars was $27.27. ,27. Um, however, on the way back from Playa del Carmen to Acomal, they wanted to charge us a thousand pesos. Uh, one taxi driver wanted to charge us right off the ferry, um, a, an exorbitant amount of money, uh, which was double to what we had uh, more than double than what we had originally paid from the hotel and so of course um, my husband speaks Spanish he is from Mexico from Mexico City so we did some haggling and uh, got it down to the normal price of what would be more reasonable of what we um, were comfortable to pay which is 350 pesos back to the hotel which was $21.21 .21. Um, if we walked further out into Playa del Carmen, I'm sure it would have been cheaper, but we were exhausted at that point and we just want to get, wanted to get back to the hotel to shower and get ready for dinner. So those are the types of things that I like to put in my, uh, traveler's notebook. Um, just little mementos, um, and, uh, hopefully this will inspire you to, um, pull out your traveler's notebooks and uh, start documenting and having fun with it. So um, I wish you happy travels and uh, thanks for watching everyone. Bye!